on this episode, it's all about the glass. Okay, so what I want to work on today is uh, basically removing all this side glass so that I can get the, uh, the door trim off and then I can continue on with uh, body prep. So that's what I'm going to get started on now. Okay, so I've got this door pretty much completely stripped down now. Um, i got to clean it up. The only thing I haven't been able to get off is sort of this uh, top of the door card here. Um, I don't know, I think it must be glued on. And as I'm trying to pry it, it cracked in a couple places. So I'm going to do a little bit more research on this uh, just to confirm maybe the best way to get it off without damaging it. I'm not sure how expensive it would be to replace or even if it's available so i'm going to leave that for right now and uh, i'm going to probably move on to the the rear window now just quickly before i uh, move on to the rear window what i'm going to do is quickly just label all this that way uh, i don't get anything mixed up makes uh, reassembly a lot easier So I thought I'd just go through the steps of removing this vent window. It's the only one that's a little bit tricky. Um, so there is a screw just at the top here that needs to be removed. I'll remove that. And then you've got one bolt here. Um, I have read online that Occasionally there's a rivet that you have to drill through, but on that side there was nothing. I have a good, uh, I'm pretty positive these have been out before because uh, that top screw I just removed is a uh, Robert screw and uh, I'm pretty sure that's just a Canadian thing. So, But uh, I'll remove this and then it's just a matter of kind of breaking it loose, twisting it and pulling it out. So that's what I'm going to do. Second clue that this has been out before is uh, this should be a 10 mil nut or a bolt, sorry, and it's actually a uh, 8 mil. So. There it goes. That one was a little more stubborn than the other side. I'm gonna pop this trim off. Give me 
a little bit more room to work in here. Okay, so that's the all the side windows out. Um, I have to admit that was one of the things that was kind of stressing me out about this job. I know it's kind of uh, silly considering how far I've gone on the bodywork, but just removing the bent windows, I was hesitating on doing that, and uh, I was considering just leaving the, all this side trim on and uh, just masking it for paint. But uh, after doing some research online. Everything actually came off easier than I was expecting, and uh, I don't think I damaged anything. Um, as you saw in the video, it was a little bit uh, tricky getting the far side bent window out, but it was just, I think, just a little bit stuck. Uh, just took a little more force than this side, so overall, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Uh, I guess I'm just moving on to the next thing. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to work on is removing this uh, top. Uh, I've also been hesitating on uh, this project and trying to decide whether I could just leave it on uh, mask around it for t for paint but uh, I think it's better off just removing it that's the proper way to do it so uh, I'm gonna be using the instructions that I found on cabbyinfo.com and uh, I'm just gonna go slowly and take it one step at a time and hopefully I'll get that off
Okay, so after I have the top off, uh, you can see here one of the screws had uh, gone directly through the body. Um, so I need to uh, patch this up and then make sure that the screw is, is not going to do that. So unfortunately I forgot to turn the camera on for that, but uh, it was uh, pretty quick. I just kind of uh, ground it down a bit and then just welded in the hole. So, and, and now as you can see when I put the screw in, it's in no problem and uh, doesn't poke through. So, that looks good. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Uh, I'm pretty happy with what I got done this week. The, I got the side windows out, the top off, some more uh, sanding on the back here. So it's getting closer every day. Side windows came out fairly easy. Top was a little trickier. I did end up breaking the uh, cable. Uh, basically it was rusted. I couldn't get the nut off without twisting the cable. I tried kind of things and uh, it was just it was rusted solid the nut on there so when i took a look at it afterwards it looks like it was due to be replaced anyways so um everything else came off okay without any damage i think so i'm happy with that and i'm happy with the progress i'm making so if you've enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and we'll see you next week analog generation